This is the 3D drawing board for perspective drawings. Let me show you how it works. Every line I'm drawing here is in perfect perspective. I don't have to be concerned about drawing an incorrect line. I can just get on with the job of drawing. We've just drawn a box here. Here's a couple of things we can do with that box. Let's uh, put a slot in this side. So I'm just thinking up de design details to make this box a little more interesting. This is how fast and easy drawing has become. I want to show you how we go about doing circles, which become ellipses when we draw in perspective. In about 30 minutes, you can teach a classroom full of students how to draw confidently. And instead of them concentrating on the drawing, they're concentrating on their idea. And that's what drawing should do. It should release us to be able to be creative. When I'm showing someone how to use the board for the first time, that's the best moment. That's, that's really great because they don't know what they're looking at at first. It, it looks kind of strange and it's weird. It's, it's like nothing else they've ever seen. But when I show them how easy it is to, to generate a, a table or a chair or, or just a box with interesting shapes in perfect perspective, in just a matter of you know one minute or two minutes, and they have a special moment where they go, that is great, that's awesome. They see how it works and they know straight away that they could do that because it's so simple to use. One of the best lessons that students learn when they're using the board is that they can draw and they can be creative and they can design things that never existed before. And so whether they're working on, on, on projects or modules which have relevance in all sorts of areas, they can actually draw those ideas and start to explain themselves graphically. So um, teachers are using, this, using the 3D board right across the range of, uh, of, of topic areas and, and interests, whether it's in a drafting class or a, a construction class, anything where students are asked to explain their ideas graphically. Um, that, that's their, they're all the applications. So I like to think of the product as being more than just a drawing board, another drafting product. It's actually a creativity tool. And, and that kind of makes all the difference. Because at the end of the day, that's what, that's what drawing is all about, is being able to uh, generate ideas and to communicate those ideas. Perspective is actually uh, fairly important. And if we can draw that way, it makes everything look realistic. Um, th the fact is everything we see, everything we see is, is in perspective. And that's the way we perceive the, perceive the whole world around us. So if we can find a way that uh, helps us draw in perspective, then that's gonna be a very powerful tool. Now, other kinds of drawing like um, axonometric, oblique, isometric, they exist because perspective drawing has been very, very difficult, you know, for the last several hundreds, hundreds of years. So you can, you can buy the thick book on how to draw in perspective and you can wade through the, uh, the difficulties of drawing perfect perspective drawing. Or you can sort of use these other methods such as isometric, which is much easier, but they don't look quite right. Perspective is the only perfectly uh, accurate pictorial representation uh, that you can come across. And until now, perspective's been very difficult to draw. But that's where the 3D board changes everything. I love showing people the 3D drawing board um, because I'm just so confident that it, it makes a difference people realise very quickly how they can use the 3D board and uh, 
I don't have to say anything, I just have to show people. And that's, uh, that's a special thing. You, you know you're making a difference when, when people pick up something and they, they, they can see what they can do with it straight away. And uh, in, instead of just drawing a box, which is what I start out with, that box turns into a house very quickly or, or in, into almost anything. And so their own creativity and their, their own imaginations um, are basically unleashed. And that's what this drawing board can do. In my first lesson of any year, I pretty much teach a fresh group of students how to draw. I, I say, now I'm going to teach you how to draw and it's going to take 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, the students, something, something amazing happens. They, they stop listening to me and they just keep on drawing. They just keep going. I, you can't, can't stop them. And uh, at first I thought this was a bad thing because, you know, they're supposed to listen to me or something like that. But after a while I realised that they're actually teaching themselves. And, and that's, that's magic. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Providing students with the ability to, to learn what they can do themselves. And uh, that makes any teacher happy. This is the Archie board. It works in exactly the same way as the 3D perspective drawing board, but it does something quite special for us. We can draw things which are much more architectural. For example, let's start with an interior. Let's start with a few lines to define the floor plan of this room. So every line I'm drawing, once again, is automatically in perspective. I don't have to be concerned about whether I'm drawing in a correct line or not. Next of all, I'm going to start putting in the walls, just off the corners. This is how fast drawing should be. And this is where it starts to get interesting. We can see the room. Now I'm going to put in a very important line across the centre of the page. It's a horizontal line and that indicates the eye level and it helps me so that I can work out where doors should go. So let's make a door. We want to fit through that door so it needs to be higher than eye level. Let's put in a window on this, on this wall over here. Now anyone can draw that. All you have to do is be able to pick up a pen and put this tracking rule in one of the slots and just start drawing. The 3D exercise book is going to help you get started using the 3D drawing board. In it we have a series of tarot exercises which are going to help you think and draw and design in 3D. Just about every design detail we can think of has been explained in easy to follow step by step guides. Just tear out the page, stick it down onto the board and follow the instructions. It's that easy. Everything the 3D drawing board is made from is made to last. It's all the toughest materials we can find. This is made from the same material that they put in bulletproof glass to stop the bullets. So it's designed for really tough classroom use. It's going to last. The drawing board itself is actually two drawing boards in one. We can turn this drawing board over and we can use it as a standard orthogonal drawing board. Simply rest the tracking rule along the edge and use it as a normal drawing board. Let's have a look at some of the incredible things that we can draw using the 3D drawing board. We're going to start with a chair. We're going to begin with a box. Let's make this a lounge actually.
Once we've got this, we can put our cushions in there and start designing. That's how fast drawing should be. Let's design the fastest bookshelf you've ever seen drawn. We're drawing in perfect perspective. And I'm designing something. I'm going to do a bookshelf here with, a, say, a cabinet along the bottom. Now we can start to fill in some of the detail. Let's put a shelf in here. How fast, how easy was that? How fast was that? How about something a little more complicated using the ellipse templates? Here we've drawn some kind of wheel or some kind of bush in just a matter of seconds. The most important thing is to, to realise you're creative and um, if you can get your hands on the right tool to help you unleash that creativity, you, I think you, you're going to enjoy life a little bit more. <laughs>